Prophet ﷺ said, as for the kafir or the fajr, when he is about to leave this world and enter the next world, the malakul maut comes and he is surrounded by angels of a gloomy disposition, of a scary disposition. And they surround him as far as the eye can see. The worse the person, the more frightening the delegation. So the death of Fir'aun is not going to be like the death of an average person who rejected Islam. As far as the eye can see, there will be deadly angels. Angels that terrify. And the Malakul Maut will say, You filthy soul, get out of your body and meet Allah's ghadab and meet Allah's anger. And the Prophet ﷺ said, So the soul will exit like an iron comb is pulled through wet wool. The soul is not happy to leave. So the soul will be snatched away in the most vicious manner imaginable. And there will be angels that have from the kafan of Jahannam, a'udhu billah, the coals of Jahannam, the stench of Jahannam. And they will wrap the body. So already the adab begins. And they will pass by every group of angels. And the angels will say, who is this filthy or dirty soul? Because they see who's around. And what adjectives will they use? The adjectives that the people used in this dunya against him. Oh, you volume. Oh, you cheat. Oh, you liar. Double faced hypocrite. Those adjectives, they will not be forgotten. Allah has written, the angels have written, and now it will be used against the person. A'udhu Billah. When they are terrified, their terror will only increase, and the doors of the heavens will be shut and not opened up. And then the voice will come, write his name in Sijin. And Sijin is the registrar of Jahannam. Sijin is where the names of Jahannam are written. Take his body back to this earth because I promised them from it I created and to it they shall return and from it I shall bring them back a third time. And then the Prophet recited the verse. Whoever commits shirk with Allah, it is as if he is falling from the heavens and it is as if the birds are plucking at his flesh or the wind is taking him hither and thither. This ayah indicates the falling of the soul. Then the Prophet said, his soul will be thrown back into his jasad. And then the angels will come and say, Marrabbuk. He will say, Ha, ha, la adri. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't. Oh, no, then they will say, Madinuk, ha ha, la adri, who is this man sent amongst you? I do not know. And Allah will say, He has lied. Now, why has he lied? Because he did know in this dunya and he refused to accept. In his mind, he knew, but his body did not worship Allah. So his body is answering, I don't know, but his mind knew Allah is my Lord. When they say, who is this man? This is for the one who knew the Prophet and rejected him. The one who knew Islam, Abu Lahab, for example, he will say, ha ha la adri. Allah will say, he's lying. He knew and he didn't fall. So the lying is to the one who rejects Islam consciously. And then the angels are told, put around him the shroud of Jahannam and bring from him the smoke of Jahannam and allow him to look at his place in Jahannam. So the portal will open up and the portal will show him his place in Jahannam. Then the qabr will become dark and dank and surround him until his rib cages break and enter into each other. And then as he is there being punished, an entity comes to him who is terrifying to behold with the worst stench. Just his presence is odious. And he says, woe to you, who are you? And of course the response is, I am your deeds coming back to you. And the man will make dua to Allah. Ya Rabb, do not allow judgment day to occur. Ya Rabb, delay the judgment day. Because this is just the beginning. It is painful enough, but he knows what will happen is even worse than this. 